Students of schools and other sports groups. After hearing Arif Saab, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Mashallah, so much of uh, you know details. The way Sai Baba invited me, I didn't know I had to speak and give in a few things I would like to say. I hardly tell people that I have been a national champion. I didn't know what. That was about 50 years back. But people who are interested in the game still remember. I hardly come across people who have seen me play. I got the a silver medal in the Commonwealth Championship 71 in Singapore. <laughs> that was, I think, one of the first times that an Indian player then later, Sharad Kamal became the Commonwealth Champion. And I have a memorable thing. I'm sure you all have heard the name of Victor Barna, 51-52 World Table Tennis Champion. There is a racket by the name of Barna that Dunlop Company has developed and it is still a popular so that gentleman, when I beat the top English player in the 71 Commonwealth Championships in Singapore, after the match, he came and congratulated me. The two sentences he told me still ring in my mind. He was a Hungarian, married an English lady and shifted to England but his English was not like the typical Englishman. So what he told me, when I beat the top English player, he was talking about him, he says, during the match, I tried to tell him to stop you on your main stroke. My main stroke was, I would cover my backhand and give my forehand smash on the other's backhand. And he was a left-hander sitting on this side, uh, standing on this side of the table and the ball was going from there. So a uh, comment coming about my game from such a legend, I still don't forget. And I'd like to tell you about you know, that time, I'm talking about 66 to 73 where I, when I represented India. I must have visited about 35 to 40 countries. And that time, going abroad was a very big thing. Now people go in two days and three days and come back. <coughs> I have played three world championships, three commonwealth, three Asian championships. One of my memorable trips was to China. As you all know, China has got more population than India. But the principles they have, they concentrate on some, anything. Like they play, if I remember correctly, at that time, they were playing only 20 games and they were the world champion in 10 games. Whereas in India, you'll be surprised to know, we, we put our hand in almost every game. If I remember correctly, we play about 72 games. Government tries to help, now they are giving more funds. But where are the games going? Where are the players going? In the 72 games, India was known for hockey. We were the Olympic champions, world champions. But in the last, I think the Asian games, if I'm not mistaken, 12 teams came. And I'm sorry to say India got the 12th position.
all the games are being developed but the players don't get the benefit i think only the officials who get benefit i was just telling mr <coughs> arif sir as i just said i represented india from 66 to 73 73 to now it is nearly 45 years and i am very sorry to say that not a single player from andhra pradesh came up on the indian field let, let, let alone any international field. very sad when i became a national champion in 68 12 years before me all the champions were from bombay their the one player goes there will be three or four players coming in big crowds come in table tennis is one of the popular games i still remember the first time i came on the national field was 65 66 when the national took place at jalandhar <coughs> i beat all the three top players from bombay gautam diwan six times national champion he was my also my favorite player farooq kudaiji for the first time came in to be used this new boy we never heard of his name and he's he started beating all the top players <coughs> the championship was held if i remember correctly the saint xavier's college there and after the year or so i met the great sunil gavaskar who was a student of that college he said and he said i heard so much about you i wanted to see your game but there was so much of crowd that day i could not enter the hall later on when he became a test player the moment they used to see him they used to take him and uh, on the stage and you know i still remember he had invited me to his office <coughs> so i went during the lunch time and when i went to the reception i said i've come to meet sunil gavaskar sir sir he is in the table tennis room so he took me there and gavaskar was very happy we played for a few minutes and he took me around <clears throat> and after that he started he still runs an organization known as the sports foundation and he helps a lot of sportsmen by giving them literally monthly pension i am one of them so players like this and then sai baba i see we just heard and saw it on the tv that he has been going to different places and uh, helping schools where talent is there and it has to be the talent has to be molded so that the players come up nowadays as he said we hear of a lot of sportsmen girls and boys coming from very small places all over india kerala is one of them kebey they encourage sportsmen all over bengal of course maharashtra is there different places punjab <coughs> there are some places where concentrate on only few games as it was mentioned football is the most popular still most popular in hyderabad and the maximum crowd which had gathered in the fateh maidan stadium was not for a cricket match but for a football match <coughs> that too 
a small league team had come down from Moscow and they were made to play against an old school team from Old City. I still remember, you know, the famous Falaknuma Palace. Beside that palace, there is a small village, a village of Mahalla, uh, Jahannuma, where a lot of Arabs stay. <coughs> where the last Nizam had invited the Arabs for security uh, department and they have all settled there. So that particular day, I think the half of the Mohalla was there in the Patemadan Stadium. They all came on their cycles and uh, you know, watched the match. As I was telling, there was a time when the Indian team of 15 members used to go abroad for international matches. <coughs> Seven or eight used to be from Hyderabad. But sad that not a single player is in the Indian team from Hyderabad. Somehow, encouragement is not being given to them or police department gives them good jobs. And one of the main reasons I personally feel that players are not coming up in any sports. A youngster is playing well, but the moment he reaches 10, the parents are stopping them, saying, so that you get a seat in the professional engineering medicine. One or two parents I remember, I advised them, Kebe, your child is playing well. Encourage him, don't stop the game. He will get a seat in the professional college once he comes into the state team or the national team. He said, no sir, we can't depend on that. Because a lot of big people, mostly politicians, they are bringing in wrong certificates and taking away the sports quota seats, which is still happening. That we should stop and help the sportsmen come up in their field and join good uh, companies and encourage other sportsmen. 